So I'm up and I've uh, been kind of uh, doodling and googling on the internet and sipping on coffee for a Saturday morning. <sighs> Got my uh, Blogilates uh, leg workout in this morning. Um, and now I'm just waiting for TaskRabbit to show up because update, exciting news. I took, it, I took everyone's advice and I went ahead and ordered another panel of the blackout curtains for my bedroom uh, because there is like a fraction of a millimeter of light that shines through. Um, and you know, still kind of, uh, it, it, I could probably be fine with it, but it, it's like whatever. And I ordered online. I admittedly took a risk and did not do the uh, ship to store thing. Um, given my fiasco last time, I just kind of was like, whatever, I'm willing to risk it yet again. So worked out okay. They sent everything correctly this time. Um, and so I have a task rabbit coming to put the other panel in. Um, I think he's here now. But um, I also got curtains for out here as well. Well, guys, the task rabbit just left and he was so expeditious. Um, he's the guy who um, I originally had that assembled my bed um so i should just go with him from here on out but um the curtains look really great um in here uh you guys can see so i um thank you guys for uh giving me the nudge to go ahead and get the second panel i do think it looks a lot better and will certainly give me more um light blockage um and then i out here they look really fantastic also so yeah, super happy with Juan. And I'll just show you the blackout curtains um, that I got. I got these at JCPenney and I got such a good deal on them. I got, um, I bought them when JCPenney was having a 30% off um, coupon. So I got them for 30% off. Plus I got them during Ebates rebate of 15% cash back. Um, and the reason I like these, so I got the um, Wallace Gromit panels blackout. They um, not only do a great job blocking out the uh, the visible light um, but they also reduce noise and they offer um, and they offer thermal protection so for me that's fantastic because um, being here on ground level especially um, in the summertime with my air my heating in the summertime just kind of controlling the heat and cooling I think when I'm not here during the day keeping them closed I can keeping them closed during the day will certainly cut down my energy bill because just in the few weeks of having the solid panel in my bedroom, um, I know that my wattage usage has gone down. My energy usage um, went down like, I don't know, one to 2%. Um, so with the extra panel in there and now the panels out here where I think the brunt of the energy suction is, if you will, I think that's really gonna help quite a bit. So. I am very happy for that. Oh, and I've got uh, fresh cut lilacs as judging. So that is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, skincare update wise, guys. Guess who's back? She came in the mail yesterday, my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I really think this um, makes a huge difference, honestly. Um, oh, and another skincare update. I got an email from The Ordinary, and my skin, and the stuff that I ordered there has shipped, so I should be getting that soon for you guys. I know you all have been wanting me to review some of their lines, and the stuff that I picked, um, which I'll share with you all, I'm pretty excited to, to try out, so. And now I'm gonna head out, get my mom, and we're probably gonna get some lunch and do some errand type things, so fun, fun. All right, we're here at Gusto Gourmet. It's like uh, Venezuelan and Mediterranean and uh, kind of mashup, so. And it's like Venezuelan, Mediterranean, and uh, kind of Latin fusion. And they have a lot of vegan options and non-vegan options. You at I'm looking behind you at this uh, toddy. I don't know what that is. Some sort of maybe uh, like a chocolate drink or something. Cool. They have this uh, these cheese sticks here that are supposed to be good. So our rapist came and you got um, this is avocado and chicken. Avocado chicken and I got a vegan one that's uh, avocado and eggplant and tomato. So looks it's delicious. Yummy. Yeah. So yeah, it's good. So my mom wanted to get dessert. She got this cute little rice pudding. It comes in a little baby mason jar. I guess it's Venezuelan rice pudding. 
Lots of cinnamon. Looks good. Mm. It's good. You like it? So we're here at Costco. Of Hi, course. everybody. How did you like your? Uh... I loved it. Yeah. That was actually the first time I've had an arepa from yeah. Venezuela, and they're delicious. Yeah, really good, huh? Um, I've always wanted to try them, so. Yeah, I that place. A had vegan uh and this is just me but it was immaculately clean yeah there. it was really clean <laughs> we're sampling <laughs> we're sampling the uh vegan the gluten-free pastas they have at costco we just tried bonza and now mom's trying the uh, quinoa quinoa noodles how does that compare to the bonza the bonza was a little chewy bonza is made out of garbanzo you know, i don't know if it's the uh the pasta or the flavor yeah you don't like it but it's mushy yeah no no that's not a fan no i have to be honest you know it's not my fave yeah because it's a little mushy yeah yeah that was the go-go red and white quinoa macaroni <laughs> So it looks like Costco got some new books in. Um, here's one, the finishing school. This is now a uh, Hulu TV series. This was actually a pretty good book. I enjoyed this. I read it a while ago, many moons ago. The Lost City of Z. What is this about? Do you know The Lost City of Z? Oh, there's a Brad Pitt movie on that. Oh, Say No More. Yeah. I could watch him on but mute. I don't know what it's A about. Tale of Deadly Obsession in the Amazon. That's what That's what happens to me at 2 a.m. when I start buying... Not bu the Amazon shopping. That's when I start buying vegan pate, guys. The Tale of a Deadly Obsession in the Amazon. <laughs> It's a whole medley. That is good. I've made that before. This is what uh, the YouTubers are always eating. He likes this Viti's rice. Um, oh. He says it's pretty good. A convenience thing. He's always yeah, eating that. Just put that in the microwave. Yeah. Ninety seconds. I love couscous. Yeah, the Kroger brand of uh, this kind of yeah, stuff. This is what I. I was wondering. I wonder if the Kroger brand of red lentils is any good. Two seventy nine. So this has more protein. See the Vitacon. Yeah, more. the green ones do have more. Um, than the red. The red cook quicker though. What are my Okova beans? I've never had those before. It's another legume. Nine grams. Mayo, Mayo Kova. Mayo Kova. I'll have to try those sometime. Easy sponge holder that allows your sponge to air dry and will prevent mildew from forming on it is to just use a water. And once that's done, well, hey guys, I just got back from uh, grocery hauling with my mom and I was so enthusiastic coming in here and I had the dark curtains blotted out. I leaned over to pick something up came up abruptly and probably whacked my noggin here on the uh, countertop. I don't know if you can see that little welt there. So hopefully that does not make a bruise. But um, anyways, yeah, I got some produce for the week that I thought I would show you. Um, I went to, we went to Costco and Kroger. Bag of uh, spinach at Costco. I basically go through this entire thing. Um, I got this this week since that boxed organic stuff wasn't any good and it was kind of looking equally as a... Uh, pale um, and I like this uh, fresh and tender bag it comes out pretty good I also got uh, some more bananas to uh, chop up and freeze 
for my smoothies with my pea protein. And then I got some more of these English cucumbers. I find these are fantastic in the spiralizer as a salad. Um, and then I got another pound of carrots to make, um, I think I might do the same lentils this week, I'm not sure. Um, and then I got um, some fresh zucchini and two grapefruits. I got two bags of the organic cauliflower rice. Uh, so I got two bags and this it says best by May 10th. So I will definitely finish it by then. Um, I got three red bell peppers at Kroger that you saw me just chippity chopping up. And I put it in these uh, old meal prep containers that, um, that leak. So they have been repurposed now for prepped veg. I mean, look at this. All in all, this is like a dollar's worth of uh, red bell peppers. Can you imagine if you went into the store and bought these uh, prepared slices? You'd spend like four times as much for sure. And that just took me like two seconds. Um, okay, and then I had a coupon. Even though I like to get this on Vitacost, I had a great coupon at Kroger for the Imagine Vegetarian No Chicken Broth Low Sodium that I love so much. So I went ahead and took advantage of the coupon and got this for a quarter um, and then I got an onion as well so but anyways guys I am uh, gonna get ready to go to the gym so check in with you guys later. well hey guys I just got out of the shower and boy I am so glad to have my uh, hyaluronic acid gel cream back in the lineup. Um, I've really been enjoying using this and I'm glad I have it back. Um, this is the way that I use it. I wash my face and then I put this on to my freshly washed face my freshly washed and wet face and then I immediately come in with my different moisturizer on top okay and I think this is a great way to moisturize because what this does is hold on to those water molecules that are starting to evaporate out of your skin which uh, occurs after after cleansing it's something called transepidermal water loss it occurs you know when you get out of the shower etc etc the goal of this is to just capture those water molecules as they're evaporating at least that's how I rationalize it in my brain um, by virtue of the hyaluronic acid component. I will also point out that this has many other ingredients in it such as dimethicone, glycerin, which are emollients and do kind of soften the skin. So I think this is great used that way. And then the Differin moisturizer um, on top to really make a nice hydrating seal. And then the key is to just sit tight for a few minutes and let that, let that dry. Now the skin is clean and moisturized and everybody is calm and collected okay and then then the idea is to come in with active ingredients see these are these these just function for moisturizing and hydrating these just function to keep your skin these just function to battle against transepidermal water loss and prevent your skin from getting dry and desiccated and, and inflamed um, and then let that dry. So now the skin is happy and moisturized and, and plumped up. And then you come in with any active ingredient, what, whether it's a cream you've been given to treat a skin cancer on your face, a cream you've been given to treat acne, a cream you've been given or advised to use uh, for the purposes of dark, dark spots on the face, whether that be azelaic acid, um, whether that be azelaic acid, whether that be some of these um, cosmeceutical things for brightening like soy or arbutin um, or kojic acid, whether it be different, whether it be different, um, active ingredient being adapalene, tretinoin, brand name Retin-A, you name it, that in my opinion is an all comers way properly apply active ingredients to, to the skin in the evening. That is where I'm at. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over the um, the principle of, of hydrating the skin and the principle of moisturizing the skin. And I'm really enthusiastic about um, some of the J Japanese and Korean skincare lines that have some, you know, more uh, intriguing hyaluronic acid based cleansers and gel and, you know, really, really focus on um, prepping, the, on moisturizing the skin. It's really, a, really an important part of, of skin health, you know. It's like, it's like drinking water for, you know, 
uh, your kidney health, you know. <laughs> um, you know, you, you don't need to be drinking gallons of water necessarily, okay? But, you know, if you go without water long enough and desiccate yourself, you go into something called, you, you become, you go into something called uh, acute renal failure, you know, when your kidneys don't get adequately perfused because you're so dehydrated. Um, and I feel like the skin equivalent of that is just like never moisturizing and living in an arid environment, you know. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I had a really great day with my mom and uh, we enjoyed that restaurant. So as I'm gonna conclude it here. Um, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.